The International Black Film Festival of Nashville Online was an amazing journey that we will not forget. We were able to erase physical boundaries, bring people together in one place from around the world to share in the experience of watching a host of powerful independent films online. And you know, Ivy, I'm certain that we accomplished our goal, which is to share stories via film from unique and moving perspectives without physical limitations, which is actually, Ivy, a great segue into why we are here today to announce the 2012 IBFFN Online Award winners. This is the portion I have been waiting for, Aaron. I know that the judges had a difficult time selecting winners with so many great films. So are you ready? Let's get started. Let's do it. Our first award is for Best Online Short Narrative. The nominees are A Store Goes, directed by Solomon Onita, tells the story of two orphan brothers in conflict when a rumor spreads about the other's sexuality. Redial, directed by Dion Strohorn and Susan Strohorn, looks at a loving couple who on the eve of their seven-year wedding anniversary must suddenly deal with an incident from the past. Last Call, directed by Anthony Salerno, is the story of two men out of place and out of options when the debt on a bar runs unpaid for too long and an old friend is sent to collect. The Becoming Box, directed by Monique Walton, tells the story of three siblings who deal with the appearance of a mysterious box in their backyard in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Mirror 21, directed by Rachel Bird, focuses on an isolated girl who is forced to experience the real world on her 21st birthday. Docket 32357, directed by Randy Wilkins, shows us what happens when an estranged wife and a grieving mother discover an awful truth in the courtroom hallway. 20 Years Later, directed by York Q, tells the story of a young man who is forced to change the biggest obstacle of his life, his behavior, after he sees who he will become 20 years later. And Keeper of the Flame, directed by Brian Nelson, follows a young man who unexpectedly becomes a big chief of a New Orleans Mardi Gras Indian tribe and must take on his older uncle to prove his worthiness. And the award goes to... The Becoming Box by director Monique Walton. Congratulations. Our next award is for Best Online Feature, and the nominees are The Custom Mary, directed by Matt Gunnerstick, tells a story about lowriders, a preacher, and scientists who find a relic of Christ's blood, and a woman named Mary to produce a clone of Jesus Christ. Inglewood, directed by William Cochran, examines the lives of three young men on the far south side of Chicago, united by the desire to survive senior year, but divided by their ways of life. And the award goes to The Custom Mary, directed by Matt Downerstick. Congratulations to the Custom Mary cast and crew. Up next, Best Online Documentary. The nominees are Rocket Dogs No Limits by Roderick Putnam and Vando Rogers tell the story of Fisk University students who enter a NASA competition for building and launching a rocket. Our World War II Fathers, directed by Les Easter, recounts the story of two fathers from different races who fought honorably in World War II, striving to defeat both fascism abroad and racism at home. Nasonet, directed by Cheryl Halpern and Mitchell Stewart, tells about the sacrifices and bravery of female freedom fighters in Ethiopia who left homes and babies to join the struggle for democracy. Rwanda 17, Healing a Nation, directed by Claudio Von Planta and Sorios Samura, documents the determination of Rwandan under 17 football team out to win the World Cup and put the past of genocide behind them. Who is Right, directed by Mike Moe, tells the story of a young beat and rap artist from South Philly who struggles daily to achieve his dream despite the odds. Into Forgetfulness, directed by Doug McManes, shows the hows and whys of the worst home front disaster of World War II when a munitions ship exploded in Port Chicago, killing over 300 men. And the award goes to Who is Right, directed by Mike Moe. 
Our next award is a unique award because it's chosen by the founder of the International Black Film Festival of Nashville. Founders Award recipients are recognized for their talent in the art of visual storytelling and a discernible style. They are personal favorites. And the Founders Award goes to A Store Ghost, about two orphan brothers in crisis, directed by Solomon Onita. The next award is the Best International Film Award. This award is given to the best film that covers international subject matter. The nominees are Rwanda 17, Hill in a Nation, directed by Claudio Von Planta and Sorius Samora, Nasonic, directed by Cheryl Halpern and Mitchell Stewart. And the winner is Nasonic, directed by Cheryl Halpern and Mitchell Stewart. Up next, honorable mention. There were so many great films, Ivy. I know the founder had a really tough job selecting the winner. And the award goes to Last First Kiss, about a young woman who meets a charming stranger on the eve of her wedding, directed by Andrea Ashton. This next award, the Online Audience Choice Award, is chosen by tallying a combination of online views and audience comments. The winner of the Audience Choice Award is Docket 32357, a short directed by Randy L. Wilkins about two women who meet in a courthouse hallway and discover they share a horrible bond. The last award of the night, our biggest award, Best of the Festival. The winner in this category has displayed the best in a number of critical areas, such as cinematography, storyline, acting, sound, and impact. So here goes. The award for the best of the festival goes to The Becoming Box by director Monique Walton. Well, Aaron, our job here is done. Mission accomplished. Yes, it is, Ivy, and we have crossed the finish line. And I sincerely hope that this has been a wonderful press play wherever you are experienced for all of our filmmakers, viewers, and supporters around the globe. Thank you all again. And remember to visit the website for wrap up of the 2012 online festival and regular updates on the upcoming live 2013 festival at www.ibffnashville.com.